all the noise in the background should be somewhat disturbing. That's the construction that's going on in front of me for a new hospital. So, imagine that every morning. Regardless, I want to talk about something I've noticed from pe the majority of people that critique feminism. A lot of them are noteworthy guys in the mainstream. Yet all of them have one thing in common, and that separates them from someone like me that detests feminism. They only target the rad femmes, and they make up for the fact that they're critiquing the feminist movement or dissing it or outright insulting the members by also hating on patriarchy. The idea that males are the dominant gender and the dominant sex. And that civilization was essentially built by males. The fact that that's the typical anti-feminist kind of makes me not surprised that most people dislike anti-feminists, the MRAs, the Fedora douches in the world. And not even the Fedora douches, the George Carlin's, the sitcom protagonists that are players, but then meet the right girl and they turn into beta males in the end. Uh, Essentially, the cocky sidekick, or something like that. The non-dominant male that just dislikes militant, pseudo-lesbian chicks. I'm not surprised that they don't like that. At the same time, I do detest feminism. I do detest all that it stands for. And just because of the majority of people that are against such a movement also are against the very reason I'm against the movement, which is the fact that it destroys patriarchy. That bothers me. Because, you see, in many ways, when people say that I look like a feminist or a lefty tart or a soft, really beta male, they're kind of right. They're kind of correct in the sense that my big issue with feminism is simply that it destroys patriarchy, that it destroys the family, and that it creates shitty, bitter, unhappy people, very lugubrious, not even lugubrious, uh, just bitter, angry, atomized individuals. I don't like that. And it's especially poisonous for the West because white males are very open to such revolutionary ideas even if they're carcinogenic. That's my big issue. The whole... I'm not going to go on to a feminist and like moon her or show her my genitals unless I'm feeling especially brave or especially frisky or maybe I'm just bored but most of the time I wouldn't do something like that because and it's just not my style it ain't my swagger you heard so that's why when someone like fringe elements for example brings up the fact that anti-feminists think they're politically incorrect, but half the time they're not. He kind of hits the nail on the head, but it's fringe elements, so... Uh, it's not uh, an epic win. That's basically what I have to say about the whole issue. Feminism sucks. Patriarchy is awesome. But if you... You can like... 
you have to like agree with both terms. If you kind of dislike the Brad Thumbs and the pussifiers of the world, but you don't support the glue to civilization besides religion and besides all these other things, then you're a fucking pseudo-intellectual, you're a pussy, and essentially you're just a fashionable right-winger, or not even right-winger, a fashionable edutarian without getting the real edginess down. So this is Mr. Wonka 7, and... I want you guys to respect the king and to suck his dick every now and then. Enjoy yourselves.